Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Not close. It's 2 0. Oh. The 2 0 oh on the way. And that sinking fastball didn't sink. It stayed high. Well, this is not how he wanted to come into this game out of the bullpen. The leadoff man of the inning, he finds himself down 3 0 in count. He's got to take a deep breath, refocus, and get back in this game. Now batting. First delivery Jeffrey. to him on the way. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Brown. Brown shows bunt on the first pitch, but he pulls it back 1 0. What I'm looking for on that right there, he pulls the bunt back, but now you know he's bunting. He tried to make him chase a pitch. Now I come back and throw him a strike and make him get it down. They give you out, take the out. And a changeup oh, runs no inside on him as he's got to back out of the way of that one. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Hold up right here. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Now a bunt attempt here, and he'll just scoop this away to make sure it stays foul. So we'll see if they keep the bunt on here with two strikes. Now a bunt attempt here, and he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. Hey, sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Now batting left fielder Ken Sneed. Get ahead, stay ahead now. Into the box, Ken Sneed, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Well, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. 0-2 no, oh, pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command one, one and two. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Two balls, to two, two balls and two strikes now. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a little tapper. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. First pitch of the at-bat. Stephen Hoskins Steven comes on with one Hoskins. gone here as he looks at a called strike one. I don't have a problem taking that pitch right there. New pitcher just came in out of the bullpen. You want to see? In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to get to that quickly, though, and the count will even at one. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. He really was struggling. He needed that strike right there. It's been a while since he thrown one. That's just not the way he wanted to start this inning. Socrates Brito, the next to bat. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh, that was a pitch he wanted right there. That, that's a situation. You can't go to two balls because if you go to three, you know you're going to throw him the ball right down the middle. This pitch right here, it, it, everything hit. And it looked like the sinker here, but a good job of knocking this thing down. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. That one's in there. Three and one. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. And he misses for ball four. So the tying run will be forced in here in the top of the ninth. And this is not settling well with the fans.
And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Here's the first pitch. Dexter, Dexter Seacrest comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch. And that'll be a painful run batted in. Sam James enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number 45, Sam James. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. And he was locked in at the plate up the there. You could really see it in his approach and the swings he put on the ball. Finished with three base hits, and he certainly was a big factor in their victory. For the Generals, five runs, eight hits, three errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and one minute. Thanks for joining us this evening, and please drive home safely. Your number 39 please. enters from now, the bullpen to do the, the pitching. Bears, number 39. Digging in to try it again, Sean Fuentes. Leading He's going to lead Jackson. things off in their Center half of the ninth as they Sean try to avoid Fuentes. the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he fights him off here to foul this one over toward the right side. And it'll remain 0-2. Here's another 0-2. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Now another 1-2. Grounded weakly to the right side. He's got a hurry. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Well, it's getting late in the game. You look for anything to get the rally started right there. An infield single. They'll take it and try to build from it moving forward. Ready once again. Dexter Seacrest. Designated hitter. Dexter Seacrest. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. And yeah. ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing and one. Hey, let's go, a runner at first with no outs here. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. He's really put himself now in a position where he's got to battle. Took the first two strikes, didn't swing, and now you just grind out the A-B. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Now batting, the first baseman, Juan Standing Vizcaino. in now, Juan Vizcaino, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ball oh. one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Runners on first with one down. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate. And the count holds it two and two. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Wow, uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Yeah, and I can speak from experience, and I can tell you, on a night like this, it's tough to get a good grip on the ball. It's a little frigid out there, and he might have lost a little bit of feeling in his fingers. Never easy to make a good throw when that's the case. Digging in once again, Michael Valero. He represents the now potential batting. tying run Second if he can baseline. launch one or Michael find a way around Valero. the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. That missed, that and there's ball. a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. And he misses two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. The 2 2 one more time. On the breath. And oh, this is off the second base bag. Throw goes over to third. And they'll get the man at third here at least. But in the interim, a run has come in to score. Arthur Clausen gets the call oh, here as he'll try and look Bears. for one out to Number finish 11. this thing off. Arthur Clausen. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Gustavo Armas earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.
The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Bay Bears. Three runs, six hits, one error. They left six men on base. For the Generals, one run, five hits, one error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.
Your Number 39 please. is ready, Nothing and he'll take the Mobile. ball from the manager. Number 39. Digging in to try it again. Nino Bravo. Leading off for four with a strikeout thus far. Right fielder. Nino. Now a check Bravo. swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. 1-0 one -oh count. Here it is. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Ready on one and two. High in the air out to center field. Carmona is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Evan Walker. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sinker stayed high but called for a strike. 0-1. Here's the pitch. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Striding in once again, Archie Cruz. Second baseman, Archie Cruz. First pitch of the at-bat. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Hey, we got two. Comes set with the 0-1. Takes a look at a sinker that stayed up high, but good for strike two. He is being aggressive in this inning. 0-2 on this hitter. The first two outs were recorded quick because he came right after the hitter. I don't think that changes right now either. He's going to continue to be aggressive to this hitter as well. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, it took him an extra frame to do it. But, hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in ten innings. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. Pablo Marte gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Number 39 records the save, his first of the year. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Bay Bears. Five runs, 12 hits, two errors. They left six men on base. For Mississippi, four runs on 11 hits, two errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 39 minutes. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. 
and please drive home safely. Your Number 39 plate. will take now the ball now is the new pitcher. Number 39.
Ready for another shot now. Hideki Nishii. And Dan, Leading what's gone wrong for this lineup today? After. They're only three outs Hideki away from being shut Nishii. out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Another one sent foul. Again a one two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Second baseman, Vernon Garcia. Vernon Garcia is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. Oh. Wow, I love to watch a guy who's not afraid to move a hitter's feet. You work inside like that, all of a sudden guys aren't likely to dive out out over the plate. No it's offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Darren Standridge waits on deck. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Inside, he misses ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Darren Standridge is at the plate as he watches ball one. Seems like he's just lost the strike zone his last several pitches. He's got a walk, and that pitch right there, that wasn't even close. Now it's 2-0. and On 2-0, and you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. There's a sinker that didn't sink enough, just missed high. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. It swung on and hit in the air. Carmona is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Pablo Marte takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Brooks Pounders earns his first win of the season. Ken Diaz is tagged with the loss despite giving up only two unearned runs. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.
The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Bay Bears. Three runs on eight hits with one error. They left five men on base. For Mississippi, no runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball.
Though encouraged by many to approach scout day just like any other workout, these players know it is anything but that. The prospects warm up and stretch before the first test, which will be the 60-yard dash. While its purpose is to evaluate foot speed, it also gives amped up young players a chance to outrun their nerves. After an anxious wait, a player is called to put his plate skills on display. Scout day coaches do what they can to ground and focus the player for a stock-defining moment. Most of these prospects have played in games that were attended by a major league scout or two, but today there are 41 major league scouts in attendance. A fielding coach preps the player to showcase his defensive skills. This will be the last chance the player has to make an impression on this day. In the big leagues, pristine defense is a must. The players know that an error-free showing would be the benchmark.
When it's over, some scouts come down to make personal contact with a player of interest. This is a marketplace, and though the day's action is over, product inspection and analysis continue. A promising young baseball talent receives a call from his former high school coach, who has assumed an advisory role until the player sees fit to take on a sports agent. In the aftermath of a scout day, players are anxious to learn what impact their performance may have made. Modern media offers an unprecedented glut of feedback opportunities. But wisdom would suggest a young athlete focus on what is ahead, what is in his control. It's time for baseball here on the show. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one between the prospects from the central region and those representing the West.
Landon Barr, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll second. be in pretty good shape. Right fielder, Ryan. Now at the plate, Reyes. Brian Reyes. Here's the first pitch to him. Sacrifice attempt here. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Whoa. At an event like the Topps Amateur Showcase, you don't really expect someone to lay down a sacrifice bunt, but that's just what he did. Hey, I like it. He put his ego and desire to show what he could do aside and made a play that helped the team. And don't think the scouts won't take a note of that, because they will. So coming to the plate, Batting number court. 24. Catcher. First trip to the plate number for him in the ballgame. Hey, one time right now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just a tick behind for a strike. Well, now they got the tie run at first base. Now it's going to take a ball in the gap to really score this guy from first base. And I'm really curious how they're going to defend that on a relay throw and maybe if we have a play or not. But you got to hit one in the gap to get there first. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. A runner on first with two away. Hey, let it fly. Let's go right here. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Softly hit to the left side, but an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. One hit, one left. Second inning upcoming here in Florida's base. Ready for now, another chance? Number 24. He's 0 for 1 Catcher. thus far. Number 24. Too That's high to start the inning. It's 1 and 0. Now that was a good pitch to lay off. When it starts on the outside half of the plate, that slider right there, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, like that location like can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Delgado will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Well, it looked like his mechanics just broke down a little bit right there. He dipped his back shoulder a bit and couldn't stay on top of the ball. One thing these scouts look for is consistency with mechanics. So he's got to get that squared away next time. Digging in to try it again. Number 24. Number 0 for 24. 2 on his line thus far. Come on, big guy. Come on now. Put her in play. And he gets ahead 0-1. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Hey, let's go, big now a bunt attempt here. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So a run on no hits, and they wind up leaving the bases loaded. We're through five here at the ballpark, all tied at 1-1. One and one. Ready once again, Joey now Dotson. Batting. He's 0 for 2 hitter, with a strikeout in this Joey one. Joey Dotson. Hey, we got one. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a knee high fastball. One, one. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Hey, come on, guys. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Pitch a curveball that's off the catcher's glove and gets away. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. 
Digging in once again, Ed Chavez. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. A one count. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Runners on first with one down. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back easily. The one and two pitch. Oh, fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Stepping in and ready for another the shot, Kyle Hundley. He's 0 for Kyle 2 thus far Hundley. in this one. Plays a one here. He's set and the pitch. And there he goes towards second. And this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored. Away. Now in the box, number 24. And he's in a great spot. Tying run at third with a chance for a ball into the outfield to give his guys the lead. Too high, 1-0. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Here you go. Let it fly right here. Good. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Trying to keep the one-run lead. Here it is. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. So the error wide. Stepping into the box, Brian Reyes. No Lead off right man fielder. on base and we'll see Brian. what they have in mind strategy wise here. Fastball in there for a called strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. In the dirt. And now let's see. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Pitching and defense game. Two to one. The final score this afternoon. The central prospects. Earned the victory despite only collecting four score. total hits. First, so that's it for us this Central afternoon. Spot. For Harold Two Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and hits. our entire crew, I'm Fire. Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. Well, the one run on six hits. No errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home.
As the draft nears and teams begin to identify prospects they may target, a game of dreams also becomes a game of dollars. Information is currency. A team that gets a player to name a price may gain an early upper hand in negotiation. After all, why pay more if you can pay less? And why even place an order if you suspect it may never be delivered? To stand a chance in these talks, anticipation is a must. This is the game behind the game, and it needs to be played just as hard by those who want to come out on top. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the West region and the prospects representing the East. Now at the plate, number 24. First trip to the plate for him in the ballgame. Number 24. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gonzalez moving in, and that's going to land foul. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. Now another 0 2. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. On now to the bottom of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Now in the box, Giovanni McKee. Second, designated header, Giovanni McKee. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Nobody out, runner on first. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw is late at first, so they can't get anybody out. Digging in for his second at-bat, Damian Carlton. No Not official at-bat for him, Damian but he has scored a run Carlton. in this one. Here comes the first pitch. A wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here. Stepping in and ready for now another batting, shot. Number, number 24. 0 oh for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at-bat. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. He couldn't quite catch up to that one. He needs to get his foot down and see the fastball out of his hand. Ball no. one. Inside. Hey, you got it. No one better. Here we go. From the belt, the pitch. And he pumps the fastball ball, by him here. One and two now. Hey, I need you right here. One From time. the stretch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. You know, he might not be used to the speed of this caliber of pitcher. But he sure as heck better get to school in a hurry because that ball was right by him before he could even react. These scouts are looking for quick hands and a quick bat, and he showed neither right there. Time will tell if he can learn from that.
Riding in once again, now Alejandro batting. Gonzalez. Right Alejandro Gonzalez. Sends that one out of play for strike one. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Pitch a curveball that's off the catcher's glove and gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Ready once again, number 24. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. The 0 1 on its way. Late that time for a strike. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. This is flared out towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. <laughs> Digging in to try it again. Carlton. Hara. He's one for Second two in the ball game. Carlton. Hey, Hara. There's a strike at the knees. 0 and 1. Fastball called for strike two. Two tough pitches. Looking at both of them, they're both the same pitch, it looks like, in the same location. He just wasn't ready for it. You got to be ready for anything now. 2-2 two -two is our score. Leadoff man aborted first here with nobody out. Let her rip, let her rip. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I like the pitch. It just missed. That's a sweeping slider. That thing is nasty. Try to get him to chase it. I might even come back with it again. Hey, here we go, big guy. Come on. And he hey. takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Digging in once again, Benito Uribe. Oh, for one for him Shortstop. here in this one. Benito Uribe. Here we go, kid. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Hey, let's go, kid. Here we go. Here comes the 0 1. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Two good inside fastballs right there. Now he's sitting 0-2. I think he's probably going to have to protect the inside. I'd give him a curveball in the dirt and see if he chases it. He takes three. strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. At the plate, Billy Fuller. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Fuller. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to so be batter. unimportant. Designated Home batter. half of the fifth coming Giovanni up, and we Machine. are tied 2-2. First delivery to him on the way. Sacrifice attempt here, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Whoa. At an event like the Topps Amateur Showcase, you don't really expect someone to lay down a sacrifice bunt. But that's just what he did. Hey, I like it. He put his ego and desire to show what he could do aside and made a play that helped the team. And don't think the scouts won't take a note of that, because they will. 
Ready for another chance. Number 24. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Come on, Daddy, like a big dog. Right time, right time. Ball one. Oh, well, this is one of those situations you don't want him to put a ball in the air. You got to pitch the strikeout right here and get you out of this inning. Don't let him put the ball in play. Hey, wait for your pitch right there, huh? Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. On a grade school swing there, it's 1-1. One and one. Well, he's been a little bit too aggressive, but maybe a little too over-anxious to hit. Looking at that swing right there, a little early. You got those runners in scoring position. You have a tendency to get a little more amped up. He's got to calm down, let the ball come to him, stay within his game plan. And he comes back with a fastball, 1-2 one and two now. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Let's go, kid. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. From the belt, kicks and deals. No, that's and he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Hey, let it rip right here. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he will look at a called third strike. And that go ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. Well, he's going to be kicking himself for a missed opportunity right there. It was all set up for him with an RBI chance there for the taking, but he just couldn't get it done. Going down on strikes instead, it's not the. Ready for another shot now. William Takatsu. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Takatsu. In hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two, the final finish. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Here now, our final line score. First for the victorious West squad. Three runs, 12 hits, one error. Showcases and scouting activities having wrapped up, all attention turns to the imminent main event, the MLB Draft. Players will now find themselves increasingly confronted with the off-the-field demands and distractions that accompany pro sports. Having a trusted advisor to take the lead on such matters is a huge plus, allowing a player to keep his mind where it should be like on finding out where will be the first stop on his road to the show. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. Rounds one through five are complete, so we will now begin the sixth round. The first selection of the sixth round is officially on the clock. With the first pick in the sixth round, the Minnesota Twins select Jude Schultz, a third baseman from the Central Region. 
With the second pick of the sixth round, the Tampa Bay Rays select Tom Dowdy, a relief pitcher from the East Region. With the third pick in the sixth round, the Cincinnati Reds select Terrence Silva, a closing pitcher from the East Region. With the fourth pick of the sixth round, the San Diego Padres select Chris Shimchek, a starting pitcher from the East Region. With the fifth pick in the sixth round, the Atlanta Braves select Eric Alvarado, a closing pitcher from the West Region. With the sixth pick of the sixth round, the Oakland Athletics select Rico Santana, a starting pitcher from the East Region. With the seventh pick in the sixth round, the Arizona Diamondbacks select William Banks, a starting pitcher from the East Region. With the eighth pick of the sixth round, the Philadelphia Phillies select Juan Fernandez, a closing pitcher from the Central Region. With the ninth pick in the sixth round, the Milwaukee Brewers select Jerome Hutchinson, a starting pitcher from the West Region. With the tenth pick of the sixth round, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim select Felix De Jesus, a closing pitcher from the international region. With the 11th pick in the sixth round, the Colorado Rockies select Archie McLuhan, a third baseman from the East region. With the 12th pick of the sixth round, the Chicago White Sox select Sean Parrish, a closing pitcher from the West region. With the 13th pick in the sixth round, the Pittsburgh Pirates select Luis Gallegos, a closing pitcher from the international region. With the 14th pick of the sixth round, the Miami Marlins select Percy Dickens, a starting pitcher from the West region. With the 15th pick in the sixth round, the Kansas City Royals select Kevin McCabe, a relief pitcher from the central region. With the 16th pick of the sixth round, the New York Yankees select Jamie Herrera, a closing pitcher from the central region. With the 17th pick in the sixth round, the Houston Astros select Floyd Elliott, a second baseman from the west region. With the 18th pick of the sixth round, the Seattle Mariners select Richie Pena, a third baseman from the international region. With the 19th pick in the sixth round, the St. Louis Cardinals select Richard Cordova, a first baseman from the East Region. With the 20th pick of the sixth round, the Detroit Tigers select Danny Murphy, a starting pitcher from the West Region. With the 21st pick in the sixth round, the New York Mets select the catcher from the West Region. The awaited moment arrives. Many players will forever remember every detail of this conversation and moment. In the days and weeks that follow, teams work to come to terms with the players they have drafted and get them signed. Most minor leaguers will struggle just to get by on meager earnings.